<laughs> Have you ever had a shipwreck in front of a shipwreck? That's right. A shipwreck drink in front of the Peter Iredale. It was a dark and stormy night, October 1906. I always wanted to start a story that way. That's exactly what happened to the wreck of the Peter Iredale that's sitting here behind me though. Um, it was coming in with a load of grain headed up to Portland, it was trying for the, the mouth of the Columbia River and it was a typical October night on the Oregon coast. Uh, winds howling, rain slashing, and uh, the captain saw the the lights of Astoria and knew he was he was close. But such a stormy night, he decided to wait until morning. But with the waves and the wind, it pushed him off course. And about two o'clock in the morning, they ended up here on this beach. Uh, this is the Clatsop Spit, and uh, this is where the Peter Iredale has rested ever since. Luckily, the crew and the captain all were able to get off the ship safely, no casualties, and uh, amazingly enough, before the era of cell phones and, you know, social media and all of that, within an hour, there were rescuers down here with boats getting the sailors off the ship, and uh, over the next hour or two, the townspeople showed up, one after the other, with blankets and food and hot beverages and whiskey. Apparently the entire crew pretty much got blitzed that night. I mean, I would too after a shipwreck. Anyway, I'm going to show you the inside and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks. Talk about barnacle beauties. Holy cow, look at that. So this would have been the the bow of the ship, I'm pretty sure. But can you imagine how thick the hull in this thing had to be if it's been here for a hundred years? Over a hundred years now. And uh, still got this much of it left. Let's go inside and check it out. People love to come down here and climb all over the Peter Iredale. Usually when we're down here, there's kids climbing all over this thing. So I'm inside the Peter Iredale, right up near the front here. It's a pretty cool old structure here, that's for sure. You see the ocean out there behind me? If you ever get a chance, I highly recommend you just come down and check this thing out because it's it's pretty cool. Come at low tide, though, because when you come at high tide, you're not coming out here without getting wet, that's for sure. So that was the main hull of the, the shipwreck. But as you walk down the beach, you can see other pieces of the ship still sticking out in the sand. And uh, like I said, I'm sure there's quite a bit of it still buried under the sand. It'd be fun to come down here and just dig and dig and dig and excavate that thing out. It'd be more than a hand shovel though, I'm sure big old backhoe or something. See, there's another piece of it there sticking out of the sand. I think that's one of the ribs of the ship. You see down there the two sticking up out of the sand right there? I think that's the tail end of the ship, but I'm not sure. 
Can you imagine what's buried under the sand here, though? Okay, so we decided we'd have a uh, little drink with our video today, and I couldn't think of anything more appropriate than a shipwreck, right? So I hear there are two kinds of shipwrecks. There's the foo-foo kind, which has, mm, you know, pineapple juice and uh, orange fruit, juice. orange juice, and some rum, and mm, it sounded lovely, but then I read about the strong one, and I was like, hmm, I think that's the one I want. So, it calls for uh, one and a half ounces of coconut rum. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got your glass? Here's my glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like the way I measure that? Oh, it's because I took a, what do they call it? Mixologist class. That's right. <laughs> and then we oh, got this Mr. One, Mr. Morgan here. This one doesn't have the thingy on it. I think if I tried to count a count of eight on that one, we're going to be in trouble. Spiced rum. 100 uh, Oh, wow. Two ounces. Yeah, that looks right. Whew. I'm thirsty already just looking at it. Don't so the, the recipe that I was reading online said this is a stronger one. It actually said if you look at it wrong, it'll knock you on your ass. We'll see. We'll see. In there? In the zipper, in the back zipper. All right. And then you're supposed to fill it with water. I don't know. I kind of like just the rum over ice. So this, this was my idea of add some water to it. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. That might be a little strong. I'm not sure. Water for sissies. So is Alcoholics Anonymous. Mm. Well, that is strong. Oh, I'll bet. It's pretty delicious, though. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not driving home. We hope you enjoyed today's video about the wreck of the Peter Iredale. Um, if you enjoyed it, we hope you'll give us a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it and you like perfectly paired drinks and videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and join us on the next video. Until then, remember, when you're retired, it's always 5 o'clock. Here's to you, Peter. Iredale. Oh, yeah.